ladies and gentlemen, my name is Exile and welcome to Minecraft Beginner's Guide. This is our second episode in our Let's Play series and today we're going to accomplish two things. One, we're going to get our first basic farm up and running and two, we're going to build a shelter around our humble little starter base thing that we made in the last episode. So with that, let's get started. Alright, as you can see here, um, in between episodes, I just went through and cleared out some of this grass um, just to clear the area up. It's a, I just have a hard time with it being here while we're trying to build stuff. So I went ahead and I cleared that out. Now, right here around this water source, we are going to come in here and we're going to dig out a little bit. Um, this is where we are going to start our very first farm. It will be a wheat farm. Um, because if you recall last episode, I had mentioned that we are going to capture some of these cows in the area. And uh, to do that, we have to have wheat to lure them into some form of enclosure. And we also need the wheat to breed the cows so we can uh, have a sustain sustainable food source. Okay, so I'm just going to go through here and I am just adding a little bit more ground in here to farm just like that and there's another seed all right now we have a nice flat area here to farm on but what we need oh, we have a trap block there we're gonna make this just a little bit bigger all right now, if we grab our seeds and we go and do a left click or a right click, nothing works. We can't put these seeds down. So in order to plant the seeds, we're going to have to get another tool, which I don't have enough cobble for, but we're going to need to go make, uh, go get a couple pieces of, of cobblestone here and make a tool called the hoe. Now we have to till the ground that we want to farm. Okay, um, I'm doing this out of order. I wanted to show this a little bit later. The crafting recipe for torches. One stick with one coal will give you four torches. And I'm just going to put that down inside of here because I realized after I uploaded my video onto YouTube, um, that there was some some lighting I went all issues but I just didn't like the lighting it just seemed a little bit too dark so in areas where the lighting is not the greatest I will try to remember to keep torches on me to light those areas up alright but we wanted to come back to this spot earlier to gather up the rest of the coal because coal is it's one of the essentials for sure when you're first starting out. All right, and since we're here, yeah, let's just go ahead and grab like half a dozen cobblestone or so. Or more, let's do a little bit more. There, that'll be enough for now. All right, I don't really want to leave that in there for now. All right, so now we have 15 cobblestone. Alright, now we come over here to our starter base and let's make a hoe and get our wheat growing. Alright, so crafting table, two sticks and one makes our shovel. Now either side, it doesn't matter, add one more piece of cobblestone and that gives us the stone hoe. Alright, now, to if I were to go over here and hoe this, it you could plant wheat on it, and we will. We'll just do that for now. All right, but in order for the land to stay fertile long enough, it has to be with for the crops to grow. It has to be within four blocks of your water source. So we could go one, two, three, four out to this point here and we would have be able to farm and if we I wonder how long that's 
going to last. There could be more water underneath that dirt for all I know. Alright, so we're just going through, tilling up this land. Um, I like to leave a block of unfarmed land all the way around. That's just me. Um, and that way I don't run and be in a hurry and I jump on because watch what happens if I jump on this it's no longer till we have to retill it and if you have crops there those crops will break all right hmm. Hmm. that is very interesting I don't see anything underneath it either all right but anyway so we're just going to do a right click to plant our seeds. Now there is a way to make this faster. If we hold down our right mouse key and then just back up, it plants it on every available block that you have tilled right there as you back up. So each time we go back, we're placing more and more seeds. And this is going to be a pretty substantial size wheat farm for a starter. Not quite enough to reach the end, but, you know, if we really wanted to, we could just break a little bit more grass. It really doesn't matter, because all of this will be going eventually. And then later, we can once we have our idea of what we're doing and decide exactly where stuff's going, then we can come back and selectively plant where we want our grass to grow instead of just having this overwhelming this you know we could have pathways with bushes and some short grass and some taller grass like that where we prefer not just overwhelming everything and I think that's very important is just to make your your build look as nice as possible okay now we've got our first farm running super simple to achieve all right um, now uh, you see this this little raised part right here I think we're gonna go in and dig it all out because we are gonna need we're just gonna build a modest little dirt hut for now but it's walls around us and it's roof over our head so we won't complain about that too much right now but we will be building some pretty epic in my opinion buildings along the way and you know I've been thinking about uh, the lore the story of where what we're going to be doing um, I'll just talk to you a little bit about that while we get all this dirt here uh, what I'm thinking about doing is making a medieval style oops we broke our shovel we'll go make another one real fast a medieval style village in here okay and i'm thinking right over here we'll have our our house that we live in for now um, a n much nicer one than what we're building and then maybe there'll be uh some more houses scattered you know maybe like one over here and one tucked back in the trees and here and there um, maybe one's a farmer and we can build farms next to the house that would look really good but just just some ideas like that and then I think hmm, maybe over by the river or maybe over here the focal point I'm thinking about building kind of a magical style tower much like Isengard in Lord of the Rings but you know just something very tall and majestic and oh, I think it'll be cool but so I, I kind of have a little bit of a story thought out in my head so that we can build upon that but first thing we need to do is get this shelter built so um, when you're building you can build it any shape any size that you're wanting I like to keep my builds an odd dimension and I'll show you why okay let's say we want our door dead center 
super easy. A door is one block wide and we'll frame it in just like this. See that's where our door would be and then everything is even. And that it's symmetrical. And that's that's pretty important to me. I like I like symmetry in our builds. Um, not saying that it's a must. Let's take a nap here. Um, you don't have to have everything perfectly aligned and but when we get into building our our houses and our village and stuff, that's going to be important. So our roofs, uh, we're going to make sloped roofs on our homes. And I think having it come to a nice peak is really going to be uh, visually more appealing than just, you know, whatever it happens to be. If it's two blocks wide or one block wide or... You know, and I'll explain a lot of this when we get to that point. But for a visual demonstration, let's look at this. See, if we have it odd, we have the same number of blocks coming up to a point. If that was even, we'd have two blocks right here. So that's just why I say I like to keep mine at uh, uneven when I'm building it. Okay, but we do not need this on our dirt hut. Because <laughs> we're just going to go like this and we're putting this super sexy dirt roof on top. <laughs> Oops. Get rid of that. Two, three. And then we'll do this side. All right, let's hop down and break this one in case we need it here. All right, so basic shape and walls are done. Now, we're going to need a door. Obviously, we don't want anything coming in. We don't need roommates. <laughs> okay, so you can use your recipe book, but if we put six wooden planks just like this either side it doesn't matter you'll get three doors now the doors are different textures this is the oak door if I built it out of this birch wood it would be another kind of door or the spruce each kind of wood makes a unique textured door some of them have windows like this one some are solid and it just really depends on what your preference is. All right. And right now, our preference is oak because that's all we have. <laughs> all right. So, um, I'm thinking the only way to tell how light it is outside is by looking out this door. So, I'm thinking if we break out a couple of blocks here and maybe this one back here. Yeah, let's do that one too. So we have a couple different vantage points of what's going on. Okay, now we do have a couple pieces of sand here that we could use um, to make glass, but I don't want to do that just yet. We're going to use a little cheaper alternative because we, we want to save our coal as much as possible. So what we can do is build fences. Fences make some really cool and relatively cheap windows. It's four planks and a pair of sticks will give you three fences. Now watch this. If I do that, we have a window that a mob cannot get through. If we left this open, baby zombies can spawn in our world. And they are the perfect height to get through a one block opening. But by putting that fence in there, we now have, albeit it's kind of hard to see through, but it's still a window that we can look out and we're protected. All right. And the very last thing that we're going to do, no, we'll do two more things, but this is important. If we hit our F3 key, on this same paragraph that the XYZ coordinates that we talked about, if you look down, you'll see which direction you're facing, the biome that you're currently in. The next one is really important, light level. Okay, 
that tells you how light each in a particular block can be so like right here it's 10 but if we go right here it's 9 on our bed is 8 that's kind of scary because at light level 6 mobs can spawn so we can have this perfectly nice house but when it gets dark outside and we're not getting the light through these windows that we just made, a uh, zombie or a skeleton or Mr. Creeper can spawn in here with us. <laughs> That's not cool. So we need to put some lights up. Okay. So let's just put one here. We'll put them in the corners for now. And that will give us plenty of light in here. But one thing I want to do is I want to make a few more torches. So we're going to need some sticks. We'll make a dozen. And we are going to make 48 torches because we're going to we're going to need torches. All right. One thing I like to do. Let's say we go over to that desert there and it gets dark on us. Um, this is all going to blend in this is not going to stand out in the middle of this valley okay but if we go like this and we put torches on the corner these are going to really glow a lot when it gets dark and our base will be easy to find in the middle of this great big open plain that we're on the only other thing that can provide a light source like this is lava and that's that's pretty easy to spot but if we're up there uh, where those spruce trees are which we're gonna go get those next episode if it gets dark we will be able to see this plain as day from up there it's just be glowing like the 4th of July all right and uh, one more thing we're just gonna go down here to our garden again we can see our wheat is growing uh, that one's getting really close but none of these are ready to harvest yet it takes some time um, in fact one of the reasons I wanted some extra torches is we're going to put a few down here that way even when it's dark they're getting light as long as there's they are getting a decent amount of light they will continue to grow whether it's daytime or nighttime so we can accelerate the growing just a little bit but um, when these things get fully grown these are going to change texture they're going to get a little bit taller and they're going to be kind of a brown color and that's when we know that we can break them we will get weed and we'll get another seed to replant so it's we're, we're going to keep oh man everything's popping up <laughs> everything's going to keep growing without us having to go worry about you know breaking more glass to find more and more seeds we'll get another one and this is important when we get into like potato farming if you break it when it's in this state just like this we got one seed you're going to get one potato if you eat that potato you have nothing to replant so if we wait till it's fully grown we get our crop plus an extra to plant and that's important because we want this to be sustainable we don't want to have to go out and find more and more stuff to plant because we can't replant from what we've grown all right well folks I think that's all the time I have for in this episode if you enjoyed it please like and subscribe but until next time this is exile and I'm out